Oh, really should have stopped that this trip. Good morning everyone. It's not actually morning, but we just bought a new TV and well, I wasn't actually planning on vlogging today, but I mean, look at this. Like, okay, the funny story is we didn't even go to the store to buy a TV. It just happened to be there super cheap. So uh, we kind of just impulsively bought a TV and I don't know if that's something to be proud of or something I should feel really embarrassed for doing. But anyways, here we are, we bought a new TV. I'm super excited, you can probably tell already, but I'm super excited. We actually got this TV super cheap, I, I mean crazy cheap. It was like one third off and it wasn't an expensive TV to begin with. And it's 55 inches, Ultra HD, HDR, Android TV. We paid 400 euros for this TV and I think that's just amazing considering what this TV actually delivers. And let's get this white styrofoam out of here without making a complete 100% mess. Thanks to, I don't really remember who taught me what that this is called styrofoam, but thanks man, I appreciate it. So, the moment of truth. Oh, really should have stopped that this too. It's falling, it's literally falling. I, oh. I think it's still alive, but probably not the most glamorous unboxing. I haven't actually read the manual, uh, but looking at the box, I mean, they should be in this direction. Who needs a manual anyways? This isn't the, well, it's probably one of the worst solutions I've ever seen for attaching a leg on or the stands onto the TV, but if you pay 400 euros for it, well, I would gladly, gladly screw these legs on myself. Okay, the legs are now attached. Let's try to, well, get that, get rid of that small, tiny, ugly one, and let's try to get this one up on the TV table. Well, that piece of furniture, anyways, whatever it's called. Oh, shh. Just off my balance, like, slightly, slightly stepped on the TV. I mean, it has legs, why do I have it lying on the floor? Pro tip, never buy a TV from me. Ever. Like, I mean it, seriously. I'll, I'll step on the TV. One quick size comparison. This is the smaller TV. I've actually aligned that corner. So, so that side is completely identical. But when you actually compare this, like, there's so much difference. This is gonna be great. Okay. Seriously, never buy a TV from me. It's like a charm. I mean, it goes outside of the table on both sides, but that's not gonna be a problem, is it? Okay, the TV is now officially unwrapped, and let me tell you, it's huge. This is 55 inch, the old one we had, which is sitting right there on the table, which we probably will sell or something. That was 42 inches. This is 17 inches bigger. This NAS drive is actually being thrown out. That, we'll get to that a little bit later, but this Wi-Fi router is also very much in the way, so I have to figure out a nice way to keep it so we get good Wi-Fi and, well, it won't obstruct the TV. I obviously don't want to keep the TV like this with a tiny edge, so let's try to figure out how we can move it so it looks good and we still get Wi-Fi. Okay, so everything is now plugged in. Uh, th that is a very much temporary solution. I don't know if you can actually tell on camera, but I have the NAS drive and the Wi-Fi router on the floor because I really can't figure out anything what I'll do with, with it because the TV is taking up literally all of the space on the table. So let's figure that one out later. I'm starving. Let's plug in the power and let's see if I can set this up. Ooh, TCL. Quality. Or, you know, cheap. Okay, let's try to skip. Why is there a language called SHQIP English? Sounds good. Okay, Google. Set up my device.
Well, if this actually is this easy, I'm I'm blown away at the moment. And connect the password, enter fingerprint. Oh, I actually had to enter my password. Wow, that was pretty demanding. Start using TV. Okay, so I actually have to do six pages of setting up, but I mean. I don't really know if I actually will need any of these channels, but might as well set them up and have them later, but I mainly care about Netflix anyways. Yeah, I think 225 is enough. I really can't burst. wait for this to finish, but let's say this is enough and that's all then. I just realized this TV actually has a Netflix button. A Netflix button. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need these, you need this button and that's it. And if I go to YouTube, Robin Wahlberg, and I'm in. All of my subscriptions. This is so easy. It's like setting up a phone these days. Android TV, highly recommended. Okay, so I just had to click one button to sign into my YouTube account, which was super easy. And well, all of my subscriptions, everything is here. I can play back videos in 4K super pleased and Android TV is actually super fast and responsive I think so big thumbs up so far okay now let's clean up here there we go so everything's cleaned up and the TV is the brand new TV is in place now as I said before I'm starving I really need some tea so I'll get back to you once I'm done